بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome back my friends to a new episode in Well Control uh, on my channel on YouTube the Drilling and Work Over This is me Abdelaziz Gab uh, I am accredited IWSF instructor uh, and I am also accredited IADC for Mud Engineering Basic and Advanced Mud Schools uh, in the last uh, session here uh, yesterday, we have talked about the simulator and the lecture was in Arabic language. Uh, but th this lecture was uh, recommended by one of my friends or two of my friends, literally. And inshallah, we will continue the course and simulator will be uh, discussed again, but in English later, inshallah. Uh, today we will start with a new topic it's called the top hole drilling which means drilling the surface holes the surface holes which may be uh, 17 and a half uh, 16 inch or uh, top hole uh, drilling mainly we are drilling the top hole with spud mud properly so there are some problems that you may Based in top hole, and one of them is the shallow gas or well control problems. So let's start today. Uh, today, before you before you start drilling the top hole, there are two policies. By the way, one company can say we don't have uh, pockets of gases uh, or near uh, near surface gases, so no need to use the diverter, but this is not well controlled and this also happened in Egypt and uh, I don't know I think the the company is called Mediterra or something like this and the well is called Asel and uh, explosion happened due to no well control about this issue so another company prefers to use the as per uh, ABI as per ABI per recommended practice to use the diverter in the surface hole so let's start to know what is the diverter that we use in the surface hole and uh, how can we use it or how we can activate it first of all the diverter this is the diverter okay it's like it's nearly like the annular BOB, but it's somewhat different. Uh, but the, the diverter, it is low pressure, large size. It's low pressure and large size annular preventer to seal the well bore from the flow line. Okay. Take care that the diverter here, there is a question in the in the IWCF exam, is it the pro is what is the, pro the priority for uh, the rating pressure or for the size of the annular vent lines? The answer is the priority in diverter system is the for the large size of the vent lines, not for the working pressure, because uh, the large size can lead to uh, flowing a lot of a lot of mud and uh, and quickly you can get rid of the flow or the gas buckets if you take it so it's very important question what is the priority the priority is not for the rating of the diverter but for the size of the vent line this is very important question the vent lines here as you see here the vent lines okay the vent lines as you see has two vent line valves okay one of them is in the one of them is in the direction of the vent line is of the wind and other is the downwind. wind why because at any time the wind can change its direction from one to another so you have you can close this and open the other one so we have here two vent lines with two uh, vent line valves okay uh, very important question, very important note or question. The, those vent lines, what are the characteristics? It has to be one large size, large size, and without any fitting or as much as possible to uh, to to avoid fitting in the line. 
because the gases are very high and if there is fitting or elbow or something like this it should be straight as much as i can should be straight as much as you can okay to avoid any uh, of the problems of the, of the gas erosion or something like this that may uh, make another problem and also it has to be provided with automatically igniting system it has so there are three main properties for the diverter one is the large size number two it must be straight as uh, you can number three it has to have uh, uh, igniting system automatically igniting system not to use someone making fire or something like this because it may burn him okay so take care of this all of these are questions in the IWC uh, vent line valves they are uh, full opening valves to isolate the desired vent line and the hydraulically control system hydraulic control system which functions the diverter and automatically there are nothing here manually, all automatically. And there is a question in the IWCF about this automatically and how automatically it closes the system. How automatically it closes the system? Uh, number one, if you need to, to activate the diverter, you have to stop drilling but keep pumping in order not to avoid now, not to lose the ABL or annular pressure losses in the ECD. Okay, so stop pumping or stop drilling. Stop drilling at first. Then activate activate the diverter with one button. This activation will open at first. Open the vent line valves. Then close the valve on the flow line. Uh, then the, then close the valve on the flow line. And after this, close the diverter. So open the vent line here. Then close the flow line or the shaker here. And close the diverter from here. And after this, you have to increase bumping as, as much as you can in order to get rid of the influx as much as you can and fastly. Okay. Then you have to bump kill mud. I have to bump kill mud if you need it. This is as flow out in Gulf of Mexico as you hear. This happened in Gulf of Mexico. Okay, so what are the problems of the top hole? Actually, the top hole mainly have th three problems. Pocket gases. These gases may have H2S and you have, may get a uh, loose formation and you get total losses or something like this. So, what are the problems? First one is the shallow gases. It can cause losses in the rig due to explosion or capsizing in, ca in case of offshore rig. Okay. <clears throat> Number two, weak, or weak formation. So, loss of circulation can occur and when you lose of circulation, uh, you you have loss of circulation. You have a very bad well control issue because you don't have level in the well, and at this time you will get seriously great problem. Okay, like what happened in Asal field in Mediterranean company in Egypt from plus or minus uh, six or seven months ago. Uh, losing the hole, you may also lose the hole, like what happened in Asal, and you have to respot. In near place and if you use but in near place you have to make directional uh, work and blah blah so it's a great problem also charged formations charged formation and also very active formation especially if it is shale uh, so is it a, a really a serious problem for top hole yes this is very serious problem this happened in, in EDC reg 11 by the way, this was before because now rig EDC 11 uh, is working in my company and it's very good uh, rig. But this happened before. Okay. So what happens for the shallow gases when you when the drilling bit penetrates as shallow pocket gases? What happened? Actually, 
the gases come from the this pocket one and start to uh, to make flow and to uh, get rid of the the mud above it. Okay. So and until until if it is continuous gases, so explosion may like this one. Okay. Now, how to solve or to reduce the risks of shallow gases? For the top hole kick prevention, this is a question in IWCF and it, at least two questions of IWCF for the top hole. Two questions minimum from 64 questions are for the top hole, okay? So what are the top hole to, to kick prevention? First of all, drill pilot hole. Pilot hole with, for example, if you are in the uh, 12 and a quarter uh, uh, section, you can you can drill with eight and a half uh, bite holes. Then start uh, to increase to increasing the to increasing the hole because for eight and a half there is not too much cutting. So you cannot get uh, the annulus loaded with cutting, so also uh, you don't have a problem of ESD, which may make for you a great problem in well control. So first one is drill pilot test. Number two, to be careful when hole is opening. Number three, control the drilling ROB so that you can't uh, get too much cuttings or uh, the annulus is not loaded with too much cuttings and for this you can't get the problem of ESD or difference in mud weight uh, while circulation and which may, which may uh, lead to a serious problem later. Uh, also to keep hole clean to make hives uh, regularly, hives regularly is very important. Uh, keep mud weight as low as possible. As low as possible. This is a very important question. As low, not as high, as low to prevent the losses. To bump out of the hole. Bump out of the hole uh, and in high speed also. To bump out of the hole because uh, while bumping you don't get swab or something like this. So uh, you have to avoid swab and other uh, well control issues. Uh, now we will go directly to the questions of top hole drilling. Uh, question number one. Formation strengths are generally weak when drilling top hole and total losses may occur. How can the risk of total losses be reduced when drilling the top hole? Really the best answer is number C by controlling the penetration rate to prevent loading the annulus with cutting as i told you now it's a very important question uh, number two what is one good operating practice to help to minimize well control problems while drilling top hole sections number c is the right answer to maintain the drilling fluid density as low as possible as low as possible to prevent formation fracture or to prevent losses of uh, total losses uh, total loss of the mud which of the following statements are good operating practices when drilling top hole formations where uh, there is a risk of shallow gases two answers and two right answers this is important as I told you, this is number C, which is pump out of the hole on trips, and number E, to drill a pilot hole at a controlled rate. Uh, number four, during top hole drilling from a jacob, jacob, which means in the offshore, the well starts to flow due to the shallow gas. What will the safest action to take to secure the safety of the rig and personnel. First one, you have two answers. Number A, start pumping mud into the well at the highest rate as possible, or increasing the rate of pumping. This is also very important. Number B, to activate the diverter to system and remove non-essential personnel on the rig floor.
Okay. Uh, there, are, there are also no other uh, right answers. Number five, wind drilling top hole with a risk of shallow gases. Which action are considered good practice? Two answers. Number A, to drill a pilot hole at slow controlled rate. This is the right answer. And number C, to pump out of the hole while tripping. As you see, all the questions are uh, repeated but in different words. Uh, number six, when top hole drilling and uh, a well starts to flow due to the shallow gas, what is the safest action to take to secure the safety of rig and personnel? Number B is to activate the diverter system and remove non-essential personnel from the rig floor and hazardous area. Number seven, if a shallow gas flow is detected, which action is required as the flow is diverted? It's to increase the bump rate. As I told you, it's important to increase the bump rate. Uh, number eight, is it true that Shallow gas kicks are easier to handle than those taken by drilling deeper. No, this is not the answer. And I told you that some companies neglect the diverter and they got uh, well control issues like what happened in Mediterra company in Egypt. And um, this is very important uh, issue. Uh, we have today finished the lesson of top hole drilling. I hope this video is easy and it appeals to you if it appeals to you share like subscribe it's your channel not mine and inshallah tomorrow we will get another lesson which is the shutting procedures and after this we will go directly to the killing method uh, driller method and uh, the wait and wait method Thank you very much, my friends. Inshallah, we see you later in other lessons. Thank you very much and goodbye.